tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sport. And nothing tips. Guys, he told me they're pro Okay, David, much appreciated. And you look at these lineups, your eyes gravitate toward the backcourt. What do you see there? Well, I think that's where we'll see the tone set for this game. Controlling tempo, making a difference at the point of attack. Who can take the upper hand? Yes, good point. Now the starting group for the visitors. Sabalos is out there with Johnson. Then it's Jones. Then there's Van Exel. And it's Divots in at the five, roaming the paint. Johnson outside. To the middle. Shoots. Pivots. That's good. Drexler with it. Or he gets the bucket. Or he's got his first pass. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets at the hoop. That defense was awful. That was just pathetic. He should not be that wide open right near the bucket. Here's Elijah Wan, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Elijah Wan's got his first bucket of the night. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Van Exel dishes to Johnson. Back to Van Exel. The shot's good on the assist by Johnson. And so here is Houston. Here's Ori. And the dunk by Ori. Okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk. No question. Van Exel passes to Johnson. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. The first one falls. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Drexler drawing the double team. Smith on the wing, defended by Jones. Drexler against Van Exel. Drops in the layup for two. Great movement on the play. Creates the size mismatch down low. Outside, Jones. Goes up on the high post. Johnson. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. The first one falls. Ryan is checked in for Houston. Good on both. For Houston, they've gotten all five of their shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. Bryant with a screen for Smith. Drexler right side. Feeds to Elijah Wan. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Gone two or three here to start out the game. Jones for three. It's rebounded by Houston. Here's Ori. They get it again. Great positioning on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Pass to Johnson. And that's going to be a treble. Houston making some changes. Max checked in for Orr. Jackson comes in for Drexler. And it's Cassell in for Smith. Elijah Wan inside, working on Divots. Cassell kicks to Elijah Wan. Parked down low that time, and he got the three second. Goal. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Divots a screen on Cassell. Ryan against Johnson. Here's Sabalos. From 10 feet out, Mack grabs the miss. You can tell that's the game plan on defense. They don't want to allow him to take many shots inside. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Devon's against Elijah Wan. Pass to Sabalos. Johnson the screen. Here's Sabalos. He's covered by Matt. Jones from outside. That does not fall. Still looking for his first basket after three shots. Yeah. 
Cazell the pass to Bryant. Jackson has the open look. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Houston on top, up six. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And looking at what we've seen from Houston, what do you guys think? You know, they're not going to sit back and just take jump shots. It's all about attacking the paint and getting to the rim. And it's why they're shooting such a high percentage from the floor. They're willing to run the offense all the way through. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So on the floor for Houston. They've got Drexler. Also Cassell out there. Jones is out there with it. And Drexler throws it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. And here is Van Exel. The pass to Sabalos. He feeds it to Divox. It's rebounded by Houston. Pass to Ellie. 17-foot shot on the way. And it's Houston with another. Fantastic rhythm on that mid-range jump shot. You can't give him space from there. Van Exel kicks to Jones. Tivots in the post. Defended by Jones. And it's Tivots with the jam. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Gazelle, the pass to Drexel. To the inside, and it's blocked by Divac. And it's slammed in by Jones. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Houston leading by four, and Houston calls their first time out of the game. Come on, let's go. Listen, guys, we've got one guy doing all the damage out there. I want our best defender matched up with him. Beat him down the floor, get in position. We've got to slow him down. Make them beat you as a team. We can live with that, all right? Address that. No, I just think we're in terror specific to the individual, uh, to the style of play of the individual, uh, to the certain play of the individual. You know, it, it's not, I, I don't think you can just make a blanket statement and say it's too many games for everyone to play. Uh, everyone is different. Everyone handles injury different. I, I think what we need to concentrate more on than the glass being half empty is the fact of what can we do better in the area of rest and recovery? What can medicine, what can science, uh, what uh, tools are out there that guys can rest and recover? Because the fact of the matter is, uh, when it's over, it's over. And you're a young guy, you're playing, you have the energy. Uh, you know, I can't remember a playoff game ever being so tired that I couldn't play from wear and tear because these were the moments that we waited for. So uh, this is the NBA. This is the toughest sport in the world. And uh, part of that is the grind of the 82-game schedule. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I really don't see anything wrong with that. That was a great answer. To the paint, it's deflected. Lynch passes to Gamble. It's hauled in by Brown. Houston leading by seven. Jones kicks to Smith, and there's the whistle. Goes on the quick, and that'll be his third foul so far. A lot of post players, Chris, can rely on their strength to score, but others just take you apart with their moves. Who do you feel are some of the smoothest post scorers in the game right now? Oh, wow, some of the smoothest post scorers. I, I still think you got to go to, to Boogie Cousins in Sacramento. His game and his footwork is just impeccable. Also, how about that jump hook of Powell Casal? Mm. Uh, still so effective even this many years later. And then, don't forget about LaMarcus Aldridge. I mm. mean, his jump shot allows for him to use his quickness because guys have to get up on him, and uh, he just uh, uh, plays defenses at his mercy. Good point. 
We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Campbell. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. This is his first free throw of the game. The first free throw is good. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Houston leading by five. Now the feed to Jackson. He dishes it to Elijah Wan. Here is Ori. Shot clock at six. Got a piece of it. Here's Jones. And Campbell throws it down. And that's an example of willpower right there, guys. I mean, grabbing the offensive rebound and then going back up strong. And GA in a close game like this where every possession is critical, that could prove to be a very big mm -hmm. one. And guys, they're showing great instincts to anticipating how the ball was going to come off the boards and timed it out perfectly. 46 seconds left in the second quarter. No one near Smith as he lets it go. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. So comfortable from distance, especially when no one runs him off of his spot. Ori kicks to Smith. And there's the three-second violation. Houston making a switch. Max check in. Gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Devont sets a screen. Johnson loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. Johnson's got six. And their shots are falling now with more regularity than we saw at first. To the middle. Bryant dishes to Elijah Wan. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. And Houston leads by six. Excellent play call. And a slow reaction by the defense on that play. Johnson, the pass to Van Exel. Back to Johnson. No good trying to beat the buzzer. And the first half is now in the books. Houston leads by six. And we'll be back right after halftime for the start of the third quarter. We'll see you in a bit. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. This is the halftime show on 2K. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? Well, they showed a lot of discipline on offense, called some high percentage plays. Even when the defense devised different looks, they always seem to have the answer. That's good coaching. And Shaq, let's get your input on the visiting team. They kind of get more aggressive on the glass. Over the first half, we saw them being schooled down low. You know what I'm going to say, Ernie. Barbecue chicken. If I was coach in the locker room right now, they'd be getting an earful. Extra rebounding. Effort will pay off in other ways. The energy is really where it starts. Something like that, Ernie. And that about wraps it up, as the second half is just moments away. Not... Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Johnson is out there with Devots. Then there's Van Exel. Then it's Sabalos. Johnson kicks to Devots. Here's Van Exel. Here's Johnson. Nice work on the board. He's paying off with the basket. He's got eight. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Drexler outside. Kicks to Smith. To the inside. And finish off by Bryant. Undersized power forward, but his ups are tremendous. That's why he can be successful. And the basket by Van Exel. You know, huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. I mean, we know that this is a game of heart. He knew his man was bigger than him. No big story. He just calmly rose up, altered his body so that he could get the contact and put that shot up over. And it's blocked by Devox. Fast break. Here we go. Here's Johnson. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Johnson's got 10 points. That's three of four here to start the half. Ori kicks to Drexler. Picked by Elijah Wan. There's the three. And Devots pulls it down. 
gone three or four so far in the third quarter from the field. Pretty good start to the half. It's taken away by Smith. Goes up. And Smith with the stuff. And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he reads it all the way. Has that slide court awareness you have to be mindful of. Here's Van Exel. Ori with the rebound. Oh, really surprised he clanked out. He makes those on the regular. Stepped in the line, out of bounds there, and that will cost them the possession. I tell you what, he clearly had a brain freeze uh, on that one. You might just as well keep going straight to the bench. Houston making some changes. Brown is checked in for Bryant. Ellie comes in for Ori, and it's Cassell in for Smith. Zabalos passes to Johnson. Van Exel dishes to Johnson. Pass to Sabalos. Clock is at three. And good that time. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Houston in the lead. Tipped away. Picked by Elijah Wan. Passes to Ellie. Puts up a three. Nailed from three-point land. He's got his second bucket. Smart decision to kick the ball out as the defense collapses inside. Van Exel kicks to Johnson. Van Exel dishes to Johnson. Back to Van Exel. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Nah, he's really had a rough quarter on the offensive side of the floor. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Oh, well, that's because it was terrific anticipation. Also, the quick hands, a lethal combination. They can trade two for one here. Would be the right move, I believe, right now. Elijah Wan's shot is good. Elijah Wan's got eight. No, well, you just got to keep feeding him the ball. Everything he shoots has been gold so far. And the basket by Van Exel. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. For Houston, they've gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Elijah Wan, no good. It's not winning basketball when you're attempting shots like that. Oh, no, you're right. It's selfish on his part to attempt that. Should have passed it back out and tried to get a better look. Johnson outside. Up in time. What a play. He simply drains it in at the buzzer. And he beats the buzzer to end the quarter. He just calmly rolls up and nailed that jumper as time expired. Awesome way, awesome way to end the quarter I here to the bench. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. And for Houston, their shooting has been just outrageous. 64% from the field at this point. We've got Brown. He's out there with Orr. Smith is out there with Elijah Wan. That's the five for Houston right now. And so here is Houston. They trail by one. The timely screen gave him a step, and he took it all the way. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Here's Van Exel. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And it's Houston's ball. Shot from the wing. It's not going to go for him. Oh, even though he has been lost in the shuffle, his team remains in front. Here's Peeler. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Some sour defense from Brown. Now, here is Smith, and Smith gets double teamed. No one near him. Or he gets the bucket. And Houston leads by three. And 
the deeper we get into this game, it seems like the more the offenses are in rhythm. Well, defenses are going to have to step up. Each team right now appears to be super comfortable on offense right now. They're both knocking down good shots. Oh, you got to feel for a guy getting dunked on like that. I mean, he's got no shot to stop that unless maybe he can pick up another foot somewhere. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there. Sure. Goose, he's checked in for Johnson. Now the pass to Strong. Here's Threat. Down low, Campbell. And Campbell throws it down. You always hear about chemistry. That's a perfect example, knowing where each other is at all times. This is to Elijah Wan. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. There's a screen. Here's Peeler. And that one ends up out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Well, close to picking that one off. Oh, he gets a great jump on it. Barely bounces off his fingertips. Houston making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. Knocks it loose. Five on the clock. Jones, the pass to Campbell. Second chance shot. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. He hits the second from the line. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. Here's Brown. It's good, and it's Jackson with the assist that time. Unbelievable basket. I mean, I've given up a lot of height there, but he was not to be denied. Now, that's a gutsy take on this part to make that happen. Many would not have tried that over the larger team. Here's Sabalos. Headshot off. So Houston will take it the other way. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Goose. That's his first foul. Drexler, he's checked in for Jackson. It's tipped. It's going by Van Exel. Plays it in off the breakaway. And you talk about clutch plays. I mean, defensively and offensively. And we saw it right there. Here's the screen. Inside. Here's Brown. Johnson with the block. One twelve left in the fourth. Van Exel kicks to Johnson. Johnson draws the double. Van Exel passes to Sabalos. Down to five on the shot clock. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul against Houston. So the first one drops, and that ties the game up. And so making both free throws. That'll give them the lead here. And really just a great rhythm at the line. Whether it's a big lead in the first quarter or with the game hanging in the balance. Elijah on kicks to Drexler. Another miss by Houston. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. The dish to Ben Axel. Here's Debots. It's rebounded by Houston. Uh, they have to be happy at least with how they set it up. Most of the time, that's for sure, man. Let's it go with a three. Another miss by Houston. And now we've got the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Gut check time. Increases the lead to three. Just have to guard against the deep ball. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're down by three. We've got 22 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? And, and you know what? You've got a couple options here. You can take the three to tie it or get the quick two and then a foul. Oh, you're exactly right. But with time remaining, if they get a clean look from distance, I think they have to take it. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Odom. Hey, guys. Well, during the break, I was able to catch the message Houston's coach gave to his team. He told them they have to pick it up. He said there's no time like the present, fellas. Embrace the moment, and let's take back this game. Let's see what they can do, Kevin. Now a timeout called by Houston. 
They're losing by four. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? And a quick bucket and a foul is really the only option at this point. You're right, Greg. And just as important, they need to talk about who they want to foul. Plenty of things to consider here. Right. He got the room he needed by fading away. Just, just could not drop it from there. And so it's a victory for the road team in this one. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Th the 2K Sports Post Game Show. Ernie Johnson again, folks, with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'll tell you what, his season high in points powered everything they did. Clearly, he was the catalyst tonight as they come away with a well-deserved W. What are your thoughts, Kenny, on his game tonight? I'm floored by how well he shot the ball. He was unstoppable. I don't mean just the points. The ability to create opportunities for himself and then deliver, now that's a superstar effort. Listen, Ernie, I don't know if the opposing fans got him riled up or what, but huh, he was out for blood tonight. Shark kill O'Neal. Man, he had intensity at his all-time high. He looked like a different player than we're used to seeing. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports.